Hello everyone, thank you so much for pressing play and for being here with me. Um, this video, I want to talk to those of you who are really struggling um, with handling relationships and knowing who is for you and who is against you. That's really difficult to determine when you especially come right out of narcissistic abuse and you're trying to heal. You sometimes feel like every little thing is a sign or a red flag. And that's not always the case, but sometimes it is. Um, but what I've learned along the way is to give people time to put space in between you and others, enough space um, and not connecting so deeply in relationships quickly so that you can see those red flags so that you can hear um, you know, the Holy Spirit guiding you and leading you in or out of those relationships. Um, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. And also you are a fruit detector. Check the fruit. You know, are they bearing good fruit or bad fruit? Um, the two can't mix. You know, mistakes um, are not the same as people who are just wicked. OK, people who make some bad decisions is not the same as wickedness. And there's a difference. And that's why the Bible tells us to to check the fruit, to determine them, determine who they are and what type of person they are and whose side they're on and who they're serving through the fruit that they bear. And so be a fruit detector. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to tell people no. Um, don't be afraid to disagree. These are often um, things that you can do to bring out the true character of a person. Um, disagreeing with them and then just being adamant about your disagreement and holding them accountable. And oftentimes narcissistic people will move away. Um, they'll stop talking to you. They won't, um, they, they will not want to deal with you because you're not in agreement with them. Some of them are vindictive. Um, all of them are vindictive, but you know, it just depends on if you're worth the time for their vindictiveness or not, but just always be prepared with praying, praying and asking God, God will show you who is for you and who is against you guaranteed. And I've had to go through that the past year, year and a half. And God has shown me some things about people um, that has really been eye-opening and how to build relationships and how to identify um, people who are wolves in sheep's clothing. There was a lady that I um, was friends with and um, she talked badly about another woman, called her evil, you know, wicked and all of these things in a circle of women. And I remember saying, hey, this is not a productive conversation. Why are we talking about this? This is not the direction we're headed in. You know, these are the types of things I was bringing to the table. Um, but um, a couple of the ladies were, you know, like, we need to know this. This is awareness. Well, we don't need to know it in this way. We don't need to just continue to hammer and drive people into the ground. I don't feel right about that. You know, I'm not going with that. Well, lo and behold, when I decided to sever the relationship with this woman, um, she ran right back to the same person um, that she she spoke evil about or that she spoke about as being evil. So you have to really be careful with people. When people, if they're talking about other people badly and um, they're finding some enjoyment in that, you can believe they're talking about you too. And that's a sure red flag to cut that relationship off. That's not the direction you're headed in. That's not what God has called you to. He hasn't called you to gossip and um, and to slander. And, you know, if someone is wicked, we don't want to waste our time going on and on and on about them. Sorry, you guys. I had some messages coming up on my screen. But so using discernment is is also important. It's It's so important. When those red flags pop up, when things... Um, show up and you have that feeling, that nagging feeling that just won't leave about a person, you need to go ahead and pray and seek God about it. God will show you, but you need to be prepared to believe exactly what God shows you, okay, what he's telling you. And that's how you're going to avoid um, the pitfalls that narcissists set for God's children. Um, these people, 
they're everywhere. They have YouTube channels, they're psychologists, they're in your school system, they're politicians, they're, they're everywhere. They're giving you advice on narcissistic abuse. Um, but in those moments with those people that you don't have a direct connection with, just allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Is this someone I need to be listening to? Is this a safe person? And you'll start seeing those little things that say, mm, or you have that feeling like uh, something is just off. I can't put my finger on it. What's off is that the Holy Spirit is telling you, showing you things that you can't see, giving you that guide to, hey, just move back. They're not safe. They're not safe. And hopefully one day they will be. Say a prayer for them. I think that's important too. Because again, hell wasn't created for man. It was created for fallen angels and Satan. But Satan's goal before the return of Christ is to take you and I and anyone else he can with him, including those people who are unsafe. But safe people are important. It's important for you to be a safe person too. Be careful of the words that you're saying behind someone's back. Be careful of um, how you use your mouth, how you use your tongue. And I know it's difficult in this world, the world where gossip and tea is the thing. You know, we want to talk and about people and bash them. And um, it's just not the way of God. It's a waste of time. Um, and so my advice is to use your discernment, pray, Always pray and seek God because God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never fail you in answering, but you've got to be willing to hear him and to let go of some people. Some people are just not good for you and it's okay to move on. If they don't like it, there's nothing you can do about that, okay? You're not here to babysit. You're not here to make someone feel good, to be a tool, to soothe their conscience. That's not your job. Okay, so you can pray for them from a distance. You can love them from a distance, but you need to move away from unsafe people. You need to believe the Holy Spirit when he's speaking to you. And, you know, just take your time. Take your time to get to know. I always say, go slow and get to know. And I hadn't done that. I say that with my mouth. And I think I'm more attached it to romantic relationships and getting to know someone and dating. But that goes for all relationships. Any new people who want to walk into your life, you need to take your time. Narcissistic people will push things on you. They will rush you into things. And you sometimes feel like, oh my gosh, how did I? Okay, wait a minute. This is this is a lot. Okay. Um, and then you start backpedaling. But let's do it in the beginning. And I'm speaking to myself. I'm sharing this with you guys because this is a recent lesson learned for me. Take your time to get to know people. Everyone, take your time. Everyone doesn't have to be your buddy right in the beginning. You don't have to be tight in the beginning. Okay? You can take your time to get to know people. Let them take their time to get to know you too and make sure you're doing right by them. That's also important. They need that space as well. And um, so be a safe person, choose safe people, and you're going to be okay. Take good care of yourselves. Have a good day.